Through the district's affordable dwelling unit program, the city often makes agreements with developers to integrate a certain percentage of affordable units into fair market condo buildings. Though intended to allow low- and moderate-income families stay in quickly gentrifying areas like Columbia Heights, the D.C. government did not foresee the effect of rising condo fees and the resale rental restrictions the city placed on these units as financially ruinous for the ADU owners. The first major issue is escalating condo fees for ADU owners. Once an association assumes control of a building, neither the city government nor the original developer has any influence on what decisions an association makes regarding policies and fee increases. Currently, many ADU owners have condo fees that are significantly higher than when they originally purchased a few years ago, some with fees almost the same as their monthly mortgage payments. And these fees are continuously increasing. Many of these owners are stuck and cannot do anything about the situation. This directly correlates to the larger issue of long-term resale restrictions, typically 15 to 20 years. ADU owners are not allowed to access their home equity and if required to sell within the restrictive period can only resell to someone in their own income category. And with the escalating condo fees, most ADU owners won't be able to find qualified buyers in their income categories. There is no potential for socioeconomic growth. The owners are trapped and there is no rational reason for it. The city needs to find a solution for these ADU owners and change its policies. Listen to your neighbors share their stories. I came in and um, <clears throat> I looked, it was beautiful. And um, they say they have this affordable, you know, for 20 years. And at that time it was really exciting and you would When they were working on the mortgage loan and I said, please, I cannot afford the mortgage, the condo fee. They say, oh, no, no, it won't go up more than, what, 5% or something. I started with $251. I lived here three years and now I'm paying $460. Oh, my okay? goodness, yeah. So this is my big concern. I mean, you know, how, well, how am I going to survive? Someone who's at 60% AMI will never be approved for a loan for this amount with a condo fee half as much as the monthly mortgage payment. So that means you won't be able to sell so that it. That means I'll never be able to sell. That's one of those things that the government never wants to talk about, those things. So essentially you're, you're always between a rock and a hard place. So instead of um, a home ownership, affordable home ownership opportunity helping low and moderate income families move up the socioeconomic ladder, you're, you're forcing them into a worse financial situation. And when everything is said and done, they are, you know, their credit's damaged, they are um, they're displaced from the neighborhood that they, they had a, such a burning desire to remain in. Um, some of them probably would um, have lost their units due to foreclosure because they couldn't afford to maintain the condo fees and the mortgage and they couldn't afford to rent it out either. I'm not giving up and if it's necessary I'm going to sell it by law. I'll go to court, I'll go to anywhere for me to sell my apartment and move out. I won't give up. <laughs> 